We're really excited about trying to get into medical imaging. Okay. Really excited about that. So, so AI medical imaging or oh, just yeah. medical so, imaging in general? So I have a, yeah, well, so uh, specifically using AI to read the images. Mm -hmm. So I have a daughter who had four brain surgeries by age two. Mm -hmm. Pediatrician wasn't sure she'd live till three. Yep. Now, good news is she turned nine this year. Next year, she'll probably turn 10. So uh, it, that's this great there. She's pretty cognitively challenged. Um, and one of the things that, that could have helped her a lot and certainly could help a lot of folks in the future here is um, at one point for brain surgery three, they opened her skull, mm -hmm. put sensors between her brain and her skull, mm -hmm. taped it all up again. And then surgery four was they opened it up again, went in and did their work. Mm -hmm. The sensors were gathering data that you could read across six screens, and it's hard for even a trained human eye to read it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And with machine vision, we could have real deep insights off of a lot yeah. less data. And so for me, I'm pretty personally driven on that. We just we have a lot of good tech for that now. So probably, you know, in the next two to five years, we're we're hoping to to really because we can probably take the cost of reading an image down from call it hundred few hundred or a few thousand dollars down to a nickel or ten cents. I would bet, yeah. And so find charge more for it, make some bucks and do that. Yeah. But uh yeah, so so yeah. You know, yeah, don't charge as much, charge more, have a have a better profit margin. Et cetera, well, right? and, and also increasing accessibility, like with a lot of the, even just like a broken x-ray, let's say you, you break your arm, you go down to the ER, they take an x-ray, it can take a while, you know, up to a few hours just to have somebody read the images. Right, exactly. And so with this, we could actually Speed. embed the software right on the machine. And so you could be getting like, so it's about increasing the, so mission of the company, Big TB, is to democratize access to information, technology, and opportunity. Mm -hmm. So if we have software that can do medical imaging, that just opens the floodgates and, and removes that from being a bottleneck on healthcare. And yep. so, you know, we're, we're pretty forward. We, we have big, big goals and big ambitions. Well, I think they're, I think they're great ones. And I think they're, they're timely and needed because healthcare has a lot of bottlenecks right now. Oh yeah. And that's, no, and that's sure. what a lot of the expense is. So if we can start solving some of those problems with some great commercial technology, you know, it'll it'll still be a fight to bring the industry along, but you know, well, at, at we, least we at least we'll, at least we'll solve the technical problems, right? For sure, for sure. Well, we've got we've got really good tech for it, and we've got really good uh, really good appetite for it. Like, I think folks are more and more excited. Like, oh, well, can AI solve this problem? Oh, well, can AI solve that problem? And the answer is sometimes no, but yep. sometimes yes. Yeah, I mean, it's probably more of a not yet versus a uh, versus oh, a no, yeah. right? Well, and actually, like another product we're looking at. This is probably more in the within the next twelve months is um, an employee mental health benefit. So uh, a therapy session might cost eighty five to one hundred eighty five dollars a session. Um, we're able to with using language models, we can get that our hard cost down to about ten cents. And now, is it as good as sitting with a therapist? In some ways, yes, and in some ways, no. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the idea is if, if if we can help employers give access to their employees to this type of uh, help. And, and do it for 10 bucks a month per employee, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of folks will be doing a lot better. And that's really like a big part of just my mission with things is how do you make life better for, for humans? And uh, we've got a lot of great tools for that now. Fantastic. So many great tools. Well, it's that. exciting. So excellent. Yeah, man, that's what I'm up to. That's what's cooking so in Vegas. That's cool. Well, demo time is here. It is at 115, I believe. So it's coming, coming up on here, up. Coming coming up here pretty quick. And what room are you guys in? Are you We're guys in the theater. 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 We are the big time. Fancy th We're at, made it to the big time. Oh, yeah. Kurt so, gets it in the morning and for who's got my money. Yeah. And then we uh, we go back there.